Welcome to the Outdoor Limits Grill YouTube channel. This is the first video on the channel and if you guys have been following me on the Outdoor Limits YouTube channel, you would know that I've done a lot of cooking videos. I figured it's time to separate and do a separate channel strictly devoted to cooking squirrels, rabbits, doves, ducks, geese, even just some regular domestic meats that we're going to be cooking up. Today, Adam and I went out on a squirrel hunt and we did pretty good. We got a few squirrels. And so we're going to be making a recipe that I'm going to kind of be experimenting with. I've had something similar to this. Adam makes it all the time, but I figured I'd kick things up a notch and we're going to be making some Buffalo squirrel crescent roll roll up thing. First things first, we're going to need an Instapot or a pressure cooker, whichever one or a crock pot, just slow cook them. We're going to basically cook these down so then the meat can just be shredded off of them. So, what I've got is just some chicken broth and we're gonna put the squirrel in there. We got legs and loins. Put the chicken broth in there, seal it up, cook it on high pressure. My wife doesn't wanna be on video, so I'm not putting it in the video, but she's the official taste tester. I'll let you guys know what she thinks of them. And we've got my parents and her parents coming over t for dinner tonight. They don't know I'm cooking squirrel and I'm excited to see what their reactions are. But we're gonna get this going. We're gonna go ahead and layer these in here. I did my best to get as much hair off of them as I can. If you guys have any tips on how to get the hair off of squirrels, put it down in the comments. I'd really appreciate it because it seems like I'm always sitting there trying to wipe it off forever. But we've got four squirrels here and they're going in the Instapot and spread those out pretty even. Chicken broth. Pressure cook for 13 minutes. All right, it's been about 20 minutes and I, did, I set this for 13 and it just wasn't cooked enough for it to be pulled apart and shredded. So I actually slapped it on there, did another 13 minutes. So it's 26 minutes under pressure cook. We're gonna pull this out, get it shredded up and head on to the next step. I found that the easiest way to do this with squirrel is just use your fingers. That one's kind of just use your fingers and pull it all off the bones. It makes life so much better than trying to like use a fork and pick around the bones. You do kind of have to wait a minute for them to cool off, otherwise you'll burn the cap out of your fingers. Okay, so here we got all of our shredded squirrel and we're going to add about half a block of cream cheese to it and get that mixed up. And while I'm doing this, I got the oven preheating to 350. So we're gonna go ahead and do our best to mix all this in as good as we can. Now we're gonna add our buffalo sauce. This is buffalo wild wings, spicy garlic, use whatever you like. But we're gonna just kind of eyeball this and go for, you know, however saucy you like it. We'll start with that and start mixing and see what we think. You can always dip these in more buffalo sauce when you're eating them if you want to, but We'll just mix this in and see what we think. And there we go. We've got the filling for what we're making. We're gonna grab some crescent rolls and I'm gonna try this with just a little bit of cheddar cheese. And so we're gonna fill the crescent roll with the squirrel mix. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this cheddar cheese on there. We'll roll it up and we're gonna bake it. There we go. There's one of many. Okay, I'm putting these on the pan here, ready to go in the oven. I just want to pinch the sides, making sure nothing's gonna really kind of squeak out. I'm just wanting to hold all the goodies on the inside there. It seems like the first ones I did are much bigger than the ones I was doing towards the end. We uh, filled nine, 10, 11, 12 crescent rolls with what we had. And we probably could have done, what was that, 16? If we just were a little more sparing with what we put in there. We got the oven set at 350, so we're gonna plop these bad boys in there and let them bake. We'll do them both at the same time. We'll kind of rotate them through. We'll keep an eye on them probably about 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so. Um, 
wait until they're golden brown and everything on the inside's cooked. So we just need those crescent rolls to cook. They're done. Oh yeah. Golden brown and delicious right there. That's what I'm talking about. Now the true test is to see if everybody can tell that this is squirrel or something that is not chicken. Most of my family doesn't really expect this. They'd probably be like, oh, it's chicken, whatever. So we're gonna surprise them with some squirrel. I've never cooked squirrel for the family. I've done some duck stuff, but never squirrel. So we're gonna just let these cool. People should be getting here pretty shortly. So I gotta put the camera down, put the lights away and everything so then people don't suspect anything. So we're gonna we're gonna be stealthy and try and pull pull one over their head. Oh shoot, they just showed up. They're really good. I just tried to bite. I got something to tell you, Mom. That's squirrel. <laughs> I figured it was. Dad, you wolfed it down. What do you think of squirrel? I'm not surprised. <laughs> and it's good. It's very good. Buff, I can now say I've eaten squirrel. Buff, <laughs> Dad ate squirrel. Buff, what would you do different? A little more buffalo sauce. And then you gotta have the blue cheese dressing to dip it in. I, I thought about that. I thought, as I was walking, I put cheddar in there. And you know what? I'm gonna even finish it sauce. now that I know it's squirrel. Good. Well, I was thinking blue cheese crumbles in there instead of cheddar. Well, it's safe to say this recipe was a success. All of the people who ate it really enjoyed it. So if you guys want to give it a try, I'll leave a list of everything down below in the comments and in the description. And uh, I'd highly recommend it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, which I'm sure at this point in the channel, most people are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And stay tuned because we're going to be coming out with some more recipes here real soon.